Miss Sally. You asked me to remind you when we were 30 minutes out. Oh, so I did. <clears throat> well. You will look after him, won't you? Of course you will. You always have. Ma'am, she's here. Uh, <clears throat> come in. Miss Anderson has arrived. I hear um, St. Thomas is just lovely this time of year. First things first, shall we? <laughs> Tell Mr. Colby we're making every effort to settle his father's estate expeditiously. I don't know how much longer I can keep him leashed before he suits. You might consider replacing his leash with a choke chain. I take threats seriously. Here you go, Kelly. Oh, thank you so much. We'll take care of it. Thanks. Why, Kelly, you look lovely. Thank you, Miss Sally. It's, it's so wonderful to see you again. That's for the office. So, uh, tell me. Have you found Mr. Wright yet? Still looking. Oh. No keepers yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. I um, rode my bike in today. I, uh... Oh, did you? Oh, Miss yeah. Sally. Always a treat. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mr. Hamilton is expecting you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank <laughs> I know you don't take cream. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You do know Mr. Hamilton is retired. Miss well, Sally, you know that we've been glad to, to come to you. We enjoy any excuse to visit Anderson House. <laughs> well, nonsense. You know I enjoy getting out. Just to what do we owe this honor? Well, I'm afraid there's no delicate way to put this. I've come to make final arrangements. Um, for Anderson House. I'd like it to go to my grandson, Joey. You do know that Joey can't take care of Anderson. Now, now. Don't be so hard on the boy. Besides, I'm afraid there is no time for debate. You see, I have been told that I have less than a month. Oh. Excuse me. This comes as quite a shock. Joey can't possibly manage Anderson House. Ted, Anderson House doesn't need Joey. What? Hawthorne, Claudia, and, and Oscar handle the day-to-day, -day, but Joey does need Anderson House, and he is our only link to the family legacy. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Thank you. Then the rest is merely details. Everything is here. My final request of you is that you make it legal. It's not going to be easy. Thank you, Ted. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you out, Miss Sally. Oh, that won't be necessary, darling. Oh, and uh, when you do find a keeper, Make sure he can keep up. <laughs> I'm almost there. Can you give me a beater? Yeah. 
Hey, Joey. Yeah? I think we got company, man. Ooh. Thanks, Lino. Hey, Lino, right. you lower me? Lowering. Who is this guy? Still running. I don't know. KGB? Uh, serious? No, I'm not serious. I can't even tell if you're telling the truth. Dude, just stop. Stop. You. stop. Hey. Mr. Anderson. Yeah? I'm Ulrich Keel. OK. You needed at Anderson House. Nobody called me. Your phone has been disconnected. My phone's been disconnected. What's going on here? Mr. Anderson. Your grandmother has passed away. Uh, hey, guys. <clears throat> can you, uh, can you drive the Jeep back to the cabin for me? Thanks. Who are you exactly? Your grandmother and I are, were very close. I'm here to take you home. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Lena. Poppy, I'm here. I'm on the way up. It's good to have you home. The firm really needs you. It's great to be here. So what's this big assignment you have for me? You'll see. I'm gonna get you so much. I'm gonna get you oh. Hey, 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 are my kids making messes again? <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi, Ted. Uh, yes, he's right here. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I just got your text now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, I'll, uh, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. You have to go now? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'll be back soon. You better be. I promise. I promise. And we're going to eat all the popcorn. All, right. all of it, OK? I promise. Love you. Mm, love you, too. Can I say bye, Daddy? Bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Jason, thank you for joining us. Of course. Miss Sally Mae Anderson was my first referral. Red Stevens gave her my card and told her not to trust another lawyer. Recognize her? Is this you? <laughs> right out of college. <laughs> Miss America. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> These pictures are great. What am I doing here? Miss Anderson had a very exclusive residence, which became a refuge to world leaders and many famous personalities. More humanitarian work was done around the dining room table of Anderson House and in the boardroom in the world. Sadly, she passed away. She left her grandson a significant monetary legacy, but with a few stipulations. That sounds familiar. Bobby, why did you call us in here? I didn't know Miss Sally other than what I heard from you. Or that she had a grandson. We need your help. Angelica, you and uh, Kelly will handle the legal side. Jason, I know that you have a foundation to run and that you're very busy, but I have a unique request. I'd like you to be just a little more hands-on. We know you three can do this. Oh, 
I'll do my best. Uh, Mr. Stevens, I look forward to working with you. Likewise, just, uh, just call me Jason. Uh, okay. Jason, I'd like you to be at the funeral so you can help Joey understand his new uh, circumstances. Once you read the documents, you'll understand. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will, Poppy. Don't you ever call me that in public. <laughs> Never. Poppy. I get on Michael? Hey. Hmm. I thought you might like some company. How about your fave? Cupcakes. <laughs> Thanks, Ann. So how you feeling? some wheels I can get out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Sally had a favorite poem entitled Cornerstones, which she uh, learned from our mutual friend, Red Stevens. If I am to dream, let me dream magnificently. Let me dream grand and lofty thoughts and ideals that are worthy of me and my best efforts. Oh, dear. Mm. Mm. Ma'am, can I help you? Well, yeah, yes, yes. I have a flat tire. Yeah, I see that. I have no idea where the, um, the jack is. I have never changed a tire in my life. Well, neither have I, but no worries, I'll just... I'll search it. Okay. Where do you find the jack on a, um... Right. Can I borrow your phone? Yes, yes, my phone. It's uh, right here. <sighs> okay, well, so much for that. Where were you headed? A funeral. I thought you were gonna pick the kid up. Dropped him off to get his bike. Miss Sally May Anderson lived an incredible life. She would want us to celebrate her memory. But most of all, she would want us to honor her legacy by embracing the future with the same respect, love, hard work, and wisdom that are the foundation of Anderson House's many successes. Thank you. Huh. Good. You must be Hamilton. It's Mr. Hamilton to you. Okay, Mr. Hamilton. I'm Joey. I know who you are. All right. 
I understand that my grandmother trusted the execution of the estate to your firm. He's all yours. Well, he's charming. We'll be handling all of the legal affairs regarding the estate. Just tell me what I need to do. We'll meet in two hours. Asko will show you to your room. I know where my room is. Can you tell me what's going on here? We'll see you in two hours. Before we go to my room, there's someone we need to take care of. Thanks, buddy. Your grandmother was so loved. Yes, I know. At two, Brute. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Just tell me what I need to sign so I can leave. Unfortunately, Mr. Anderson, it's not that simple. Angelica will uh, fill you in on all the legalities. And uh, Jason Stevens here will handle everything else. Joey? Hi, I'm Alexia. I'm Jason's wife. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Bye. See, See you later. You. See you later. Okay. Bye, baby girl. I truly am sorry for your loss. Wait a second, Ms. Hastings. Um, I'm the only person at this meeting who's an heir to my family's estate, am I right? Your point? Is there someone else listed in my grandmother's will here? Is that why I'm getting the runaround? There are over 300 detailed pages in this file. As partner in my grandfather, Mr. Hamilton's firm, I'm charged with executing this legally binding document. Okay. So what, are you charging by the hour, or how are you getting a piece of this by? Uh, Mr. Anderson. It's just Joy, actually. What's your name? Uh, Kelly. Uh, but you can call me Miss James. Um, you actually haven't inherited anything? Well, great. Uh, Fine. Well, in that case, I better be going. Excuse me? I have some travel arrangements to make. dead, and all my credit cards have been canceled. Your trust terminated with Miss Sally's passing. How do you figure in all this? Um, Miss Sally and my grandfather were close. I was asked to help. Help with what exactly? You'll receive your inheritance if and only if you meet all the stipulations outlined in this contract. During a mandated one-year residency at Anderson House, overseen by Mr. Stevens. Here, for a year. Miss Sally was hoping you'd embrace the Anderson House legacy. Right. 
Three weeks ago, I had $5 million. What happened to it? When Miss Sally passed, your funds reverted to the Anderson House Corporate Trust, represented by myself and Mr. Stevens here, respectively. She did this to force me back here. No one is forcing you. You can always walk away. And if I do? Well, then... Miss Sally made provisions to ensure the continued success of her work. What happens at the end of the year if I still want nothing to do with this? Then all Anderson House assets revert to an irrevocable charitable trust. And I get nothing. You will receive a payout of $5 million. What used to be in my trust. If you want your money, sign it. I want my freedom. Anyone have a pen? Listen, I know what you're going No, through. you listen. You don't know me. I signed that contract to buy my escape. Once I'm done, I'm out. Got it? Breakfast is at 7. Just another trust fund kid used to getting his way. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I'm gonna check on the progress of the Colby estate. Good. Fill me in later. So let's say after a year I wanna sell Anderson House and be done with it. Hmm? Then what? And I have first right of refusal at a predetermined price. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how much? That's called well. You're about to find out. One dollar. Any other questions? Not at the moment. Great. Mr. Stevens, what's next on the agenda? <clears throat> the, uh, the memorial garden. What memorial garden? The memorial garden we're about to build in the honor of Miss Sally. Right then. Well, this could be interesting. You know what this reminds me of, don't you? Oh, please. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> All right, the walkway up the slope will, will end right about here. This area will be surrounded by a wrought iron fence. There'll be benches here so people can, can enjoy the view. Do you guys have a plan, or are you just making this up as you go along? Plans are in the truck. You mind? No, go right ahead. We're burning daylight. It's not right. Why not? These plans were drawn up by the best landscape architect in Texas. Did he physically inspect the site? <sighs> never mind. What do you, what do you mean, never mind? Hey, Don't walk away give, like give that. Us, Come back here and talk to us. Gus, Gus, just give us, give us a bit. All right, where you go? What's the problem, Joey? In general? Or specifically? I, either. Both. Okay, well, I know there's still something you're not telling me. I mean, I've signed the contract. I'm here for the next year. But there's more to this. Right? All right, look. I'll make you a deal. You tell me what's wrong with the plans, and I'll answer some of your questions. Deal. Oh, it's getting warm out here. Maybe I should bring them some refreshments. Oh, I can do that. Mm-hmm. What? I'm just 
Doing my due diligence. Give me a minute and I'll put a tray together for you. Here, let me help. Look at this. Uh, what am I looking at? It's an English terrace garden with tombstone here. We got rectangles here and here and triangles here and here and right angle tension everywhere you look. What's wrong with that? Nothing if there's never more than three inches of rain. Anything over that and then there's nowhere for the runoff to go. A French drain would fix that. And what's wrong with rectangles? The headstone's a rectangle. Well, it's not just any rectangle. What is it? It's a golden ratio. Ah, 1 to 1.618. To 6101. You ever see Da Vinci's uh, Last Supper? It's 15 feet 1 inch by 29 feet. That's a ratio of 1 to 1.618. Same ratio as the headstones. So Miss Sally based her design off a painting? No. She designed it after a universal mathematical law. Here, come look. Excuse me. Right, what am I looking at? No, closer next to me. Oh, I see it. See how that bubble's pushed up against that side? Now watch this. As it is now, water flows around the grave site. She set it up that way. Any more than 10 inches of rain and Gus's garden is going right into that pond. What do you suggest? I'm thinking a Japanese inspired design based off the golden ratio. Come here. Stand right here. Hold that. Thank you. Fifteen point one. Fifteen point one. Excuse me. Thank you. Fifteen point one. Fifteen point one. You think that's an accident? Where did you learn this? You ever hear of the internet? <laughs> you pull this off? Look, we have a deal. I explained why Gus's plan won't work, and I showed you one that will. Mm. Makes total sense to me. Now, if you two will excuse me, Mr. Stevens, Mr. Anderson. Miss James. Now, I want to know the truth about what's going on around here. Can I buy you lunch? Yeah, let's go. They have really good steak here. Salads, and salads. Do you gents know what you want? Two whatever he's having. Uh, two burgers, uh, no onions, no onions. Uh, a couple of root beers. You promised me information. At the will? Details a series of steps you have to take steps? before. Yeah. Thank you. Look, when my grandfather died, he left behind a series of messages for me. He called them gifts, leading up to the ultimate gift. Now, I had a number of tasks to complete before I received my inheritance. Look, he wanted to ensure whoever took over the estate understood and respected it. And he picked you. Like he gave me a chance. The Stevens Foundation is now funded by the estate of Red Stevens. And you're the CEO. And your grandfather laid these steps. Not steps, gifts. Right, right, of course, gifts. Uh, Kim, do you have a Penega bro? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Name him. Well, the first is the gift of work, which... Briefly, please. Work, money, friends, learning, problems, family, laughter, dreams, giving, gratitude, a day, 
I love. Sounds like loyal, brave, reverent, trustworthy, friendly, clean, courteous, kind, helpful, cheerful, and honor. You scout. <laughs> so I literally have to complete a 12 step program. But we're all trying to fulfill Miss Sally's wish to protect the legacy of the Anderson. Legacy? What does that word mean to you? I'm an only child, and now they're all dead. I'm happy to let the Anderson House legacy die with them. Is there something wrong with your burgers? Not at all. But would you mind boxing them up for us? Sure thing. Thank you. I think you and I got off on the wrong foot. I want the original copy of the will. You already have it. No, I'm talking about the notebook. What notebook? <laughs> Miss Sally never used computers. And I seriously doubt that she dictated 300 pages of legalese. There's a notebook, and I want it. All right. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Mr. Anderson is requesting Miss Sally's original copy of the will. He believes it's in a handwritten notebook. Oh, really? Well, we'll swing by and pick it up. Thanks. Let's go. Great. You guys, uh, you hungry? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Of course. Enjoy. By the way, how much did you inherit? One hundred million dollars. What'd you do with it? I gave it away. All of it? All of it. Well, in that case, thanks for lunch. Why don't you mention this before I sign the contract? It contains a clause that states any heir who... Who contests the will is automatically disinherited. Why didn't you mention this? It wasn't a stipulation. Something on your mind? What I can't quite figure out is the connection between my grandmother and Red Stevens. I mean, something had to be going on between those two. For them to be so close? You think? I mean, why else would she impose the same rules on me that your grandfather imposed on you? Maybe they had a thing for each other. What are you implying? They must have been very, very close. We're probably closer behind closed doors. What, are we walking the rest of the way? Those two hey. people were God's hey. gift to the world. They did more than you could ever hope to do. Hey, 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 hey. Relax. It's all good. You got yours, I get that. I'm just trying to get mine. You said you understood what I was going through, right? I didn't make that up. You feel that? Right there? I can feel it. Heart racing, temples pounding blood coursing through your veins so you feel like you're about to explode? You feel that?
Are you done? Try to imagine living with that every day. While everyone who's supposed to love you wanders from one party to the next. Then you might have a shadow of a clue of what I'm going through. And why I don't trust you. Or anybody else. You know, I'm thinking, if I complete this 12-step program before the year's up, can I leave early? Let's just take it a day at a time. Oh, here. It's for the Memorial Garden. Only. Don't get any bright ideas. I'm full of bright ideas. Mr. Stevens. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me, I already have these on hold. You see the little red tags right here? They're, uh, it means... <laughs> Kelly? I, uh, didn't fancy you a green thumb. Oh, but you do fancy me then, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. So, are you, uh, looking to buy those? Why? You want them? With the trees? What else? <laughs> you don't like me, do you, Kelly? Or... Should I say Miss James? Do you care, Mr. Anderson? I'm gonna buy those or not. <laughs> Are we only communicating in questions now, or? You're different off the clock. Well, most people are. Mr. World Traveler. Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, all right, how about you take that one and I'll get the other one. Oh, I get it. You want the big one? Yeah. Is that all right with you? No, no, that's fine. I prefer the small, feisty ones. All right, Grammy G. This better be good. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. <laughs> what in the world does he think he's doing? Well, I'd love to stay and watch this. But I gotta get back to work. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. I'll keep an eye on him. Lace. Hey, what's up? Oh, you know. My husband's MIA, and I came looking for him. <laughs> well, I hope you found him. Mm, I think I'm getting warmer. What's on your mind? What do you know about legal precedent? <sighs> I know that legally, I am your wife, and I think we need to take the afternoon off and go have some fun with Chloe. Mm, don't tell me. Hey, come on, I'm serious. You need a break. I need a break. It's just, I'm, I'm backlogged here, and I need to get back to Anderson House. Do you think that this whole situation with Joey is just a little too much? I got it, Pam. I promise. Yeah. We'll do something with Chloe later. Okay. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you.
Wait, there is one Japanese maple too many here. No, no, no. Oh, okay. These are the ones that you ordered, huh? And that one there? That one's a gift. A gift, huh? Mm-hmm. That's very nice. Thank you. Stretch out your arms, it's time to lay down your arms and help each other. All our sisters and brothers, and when will we give up the fight? It never was the fight to hurt each other. All our sisters and brothers, when you don't have the words to explain the hurt. You can lean on me when the bullets are flying. Lean on me when we're fighting for surviving. Lean on me when you don't have a home. You can lean on me. Reminds me of Miss Sally, the way he sets his mind to things. Arrangements have to be just so. I wish he applied that to his bedroom. Oh, indeed. Carry on. When does that kid eat? He eats all the time, solitary-like. I deliver his meals to his room. Poor child can't cook, unless you count using this blender. Mr. Anderson concocted a green energy drink of his own design. It's pretty good, actually. Mm, yes, quite. Well, what's in it? Kale, spinach, dandelion leaves, ginger, a banana, frozen blueberries, strawberries, an apple, and a... A dash of cinnamon. A <sighs> dash of cinnamon, how could I forget that? Oh, it gives it a certain je ne sais quoi. I was just gonna say that. I knew what it meant. Well, let's try it. Oh! Yes, I quiet. I hope you like it, Grammy G. Each time She's gonna like it better. The river flows. She's gonna like it. An eagle flies. I remember you. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I take a look at that? Uh, here we go. See? I told you he wasn't a vegan. How do you know someone is vegan? Because they'll tell you over and over. Huh? 20, good man. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> Don't you have a life? I have a wife and a daughter I love very much. 
and a multi-million dollar foundation that provides me with extraordinarily fulfilling work. Don't you miss your freedom? Well, I miss things I used to have time for. Like? Like dates with my wife. Like right now, for example, I'd much rather be with her. Well, you don't have to stay here. <laughs> it's not like they can fire you. That's true. What about the rest of your family? Where's your dad? He was killed in a plane crash when I was 12. So you raised yourself too, huh? Yeah. yeah, my grandfather wasn't too impressed, though. Yeah, I gathered. Here. There it is. Didn't need it. But how did you... Barter. Each man got a free weekend at Anderson House with their families. Did you run this by anybody? No. You have a problem with that? I don't, but... It'll be fine, then. So, uh, how's the memorial measure up to the fence you built at Gus's ranch? How do you know about that? Let me finish running this tray and I'll tell you. I've watched them all. <laughs> Where did you get those? There's nothing about Anderson House I don't know except why my grandmother dragged me back here for a year. So, I did some digging. She must have had her reasons. How old were you when your dad died? Not old enough. Did you two have a good relationship? He loved me and my mom. We, uh, we moved back here when my mom got sick. And when she died, everything changed. He started drinking. Couldn't stand it. <clears throat> Couldn't stand what? Couldn't stand that even though he had all the money in the world, couldn't save my mother. So, uh, put a bullet through his head. I'm sorry. That is not gonna happen to me. The gift of money is next, right? Not fitting. Good night, Joey. I'll see you next week. this design a lot more than I like mine. It has a nice peaceful energy, you know? Yeah, yeah, it does. I'll be leaving at summer. I know, Gus. Thank you. I have you on speakerphone. Kelly's here. How did it go? Did you know that Joey's dad shot himself? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, you can hear me, or yes, you knew? Yes, I knew. We thought it would be better if Joey trusted you enough to tell you himself. And he did. Well, I think that Joey's more than satisfied the gift of work. It's a fitting tribute to Miss Sally's legacy. 
It's a mini Takamatsu Ritsuran. How much did it cost? Nothing. Nothing? He offered a free weekend to the families of the men who provided labor and materials. But I saw him at the garden center. Did you see him pay? No, but I bought a plant. Well, I'm sure he appreciated your donation. Hmm, interesting. Let's see how he handles the gift of money. Good night. This Joey thing sure has taken a lot out of you. I'd like to take Chloe with me next week, if that's all right. Yeah, sure. I think she could use a little daddy-daughter time. <laughs> Sometimes she's the only sensible one in the room. <laughs> Sometimes. You did a great job on that memorial, kid. Now, Miss Sally will be real proud. Does that mean I'm done with the gift of work part of this gig? Look, I was wrong about you. You're not the same kind of spoiled, rich kid that Jason was when he showed up at my ranch back in those days. You're pig-headed, sure, but you're, you're capable. No, your problem is... You just don't want to face your demons. I'm telling you, it's hard. It's hard. But I'll tell you what. You'll never be able to get away from this place until you find the courage to deal with those demons. Work here is done. You like it? Take care of yourself. Well, hello there. You Chloe? <laughs> I'm Joey. Hey. My name's Ryan. You can hang tough for a bit with these old people. I promise we'll have some fun later, okay? Yeah, this is a fun year. <laughs> the memorial garden is breathtaking. Thank you. Thank you. Miss James, hope you slept well. I did. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Well, waking up is more important than going to sleep. I think they're both important. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, Jason and I agree that you've satisfied the first requirement. So let's move along, shall we? Oscar, will you ask our other two guests to join us? You look good, Forbes. A little better than last time I saw you. Clean up well. Thanks, Blondie. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name's Steve. Hey, this is my friend Max. Nice to meet you. Joey, these men are here at my request. Mr. Forbes knows a lot about money, which is today's undertaking, as you know. All we ask is that you hear them out. And on that note, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right. Hey, there's a whole bookshelf of my old books in the library. You know what happens when you give a mouse a cookie? Daddy. Okay, okay, we'll go. Are right, you ready? What happens when you give a mouse a cookie? Sorry, please. Continue. I toured nonstop after my first hit record. My manager, fearing I'd burn out, insisted I spend a week at Anderson House. I met Steve right here. We sat across from each other, and Miss Sally sat right where you are. Miss Sally worried you had a warped view of money. Cost money to stay gone. That's my view. Can you say the money bought you freedom from this place? 
You're trying to prove I have no concept or idea of how the economy works. I'm here out of respect for your grandmother. You don't want to convince me of your worldview first? <laughs> uh, it's obvious that you are the only person who can convince Joey Anderson of anything. Look at this guy knows me. So what's this money thing we're doing? I'd like to stage a concert here on the grounds, in your riding hall. To benefit Wish for Our Heroes, a program we both support. Uh, <clears throat> in, in the hall? It's a great space, perfect for a show. Mm -hmm. We want you to organize the event, collect the proceeds, and determine how best to present it to the soldiers. Uh, I've, I've never done anything like this before. I, I wouldn't know where to start. My advice? Focus on the people you're serving and take it one step at a time. I'd like to check out the venue. Come on, Joey. Let's go for a walk. You, you, wanna, you wanna go look at it right now? Gotta figure out power, staging, how big an audience. Is there a problem? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's go. <clears throat> Miss James will keep an eye on things here today. Wow, killer space. Definitely gonna need more power, though. I also wanna figure out stage sizing, which I think should be right here. What you think? Yeah. Come on, Chloe, let's, uh, let's help Max count. He needs help. Here, get on. Get on those feet. One, two, three, four. Here, count loud. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, uh. What's this? Hey, Chloe, you want me to show you my favorite secret spot in the whole house? Um, Miss James can come. Miss James, you want to come with us? Here, go grab her hand. Oh, well, that explains it. What? Joey's reluctance. That's a bullet hole. With that hole comes a lot of dark history and baggage. Come on, here. here we go. <sighs> okay. So this is it. This is my very favorite secret spot in the whole house. You see my initials? Right there? J. A. What's that mean? Joey Anderson. Yeah, that's right. Joey Anderson. You want me to put your initials up there too? Okay. You can go explore while I carve your initials in there. All right. Okay. Joey, what's this? What's what? What is that? Secret spot. Quick, quick, quick. Close. Push it in, push it in. Hey, Chloe, what you doing? Come here. Come here, honey. Yeah, it's my girl. Why don't you go see what Claudia has in the kitchen for you, okay? Go ahead. Not too many cookies, okay? <laughs> you saw it, huh? Joey, I... Uh, oh, hold on, stay. You should hear this too. <sighs> My dad left a bullet hole in the hall when he offed himself. Some legacy, huh? And you guys want me to throw a feel-good concert there. Was that the gift of irony? I know what it's like to lose someone that you love. Alexia's daughter, Emily, died. I miss her. Every day. 
That bullet hole is part of your history. You are a composite of Miss Sally and your father and all the Andersons. Only you get to decide what to do with that. Well, it's late. I gotta get Chloe home. You call me if you need anything, okay? Joey, I... I'm so sorry. How can I help? You can't. What could you do? What is she doing here? This is her idea. Where are we going? You'll find out. Michael, this is Joey. He's heading up the Wish for Our Heroes concert. And Joey, this is Michael. He's one of the beneficiaries of the program. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'm sure you recognize this guy. <laughs> How's it going, hey, buddy? Hey, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. Courage on my duty. Hey, he played for my platoon and was so inspired that he wrote a song for us right then and there. No. Uh, they got me through some pretty tough times. So how you doing, my brother? Uh, you know, just doing the best I can, trying to rebuild my arm strength and waiting, just waiting to heal like the rest of these guys. That's what this concert's all about, raising money, getting you guys what you need. Yeah, just like to dance with my wife again. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Um, can I see your hands? I just wanna... He's a rock climber, with a head to match. I'm not trying to mess with you. You said you've been working on your arm strength. I just wanna give you a little isometric strength test, all right? All right. So just make a claw? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Now resist what I'm doing to you. That's really good. You push up? All right, same with the other hand. Claw, resist. Mm-hmm. And again? Yeah, whatever you're doing for your arms is working. Yeah, he's a pretty weird kid, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, do you mind if I try something with you? I just wanna... Yeah, all I got is time. Now, your arm strength seems pretty good to me. But we wanna get you out of this chair, right? All right. I'm gonna lock this up, and we're gonna use this. The goal is to pull your elbows back into your ribs. Yeah, but what if I pull myself out and fall on the floor? I figure it out. You just do a little bit at a time. Just reach up, lift your butt out of the chair, and then set it back down. I got you. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, there you go. That was pretty good, though. Yeah. It feels good to, to move again, you know? Yeah, I bet. Good job. Thanks, man. You will dance with your wife again. You know, maybe we've been wrong about this guy. Yeah, he's pretty impressive. I don't think he's the jerk Poppy thinks he is. But we still gotta make this thing legal. Yeah. How much does a prosthetic leg cost? They started around 10 grand each. And for top of the line? Well, the computerized models are between 50 and 70,000 a copy. Not sure which way to turn. No, 
think of you, think of all you've done. We are young, but years will come and they will go. And when the rest is gone, then I will know. Oh, that when the sun don't shine. Of my life, and then the light begins to shine. I know that when the sun don't shine on me, help me by hardly, and when my eyes don't. doing here dude you invited us dude this uh, place is sick why didn't you ever mention it who's the party for it's a it's a concert with maximilian swain to benefit wish for our heroes cool you know him well yeah <laughs> can can we meet the dude I'll, I'll see what i can do i got <gasps> but i gotta get back to work okay guys cool cool hey we'll catch up later yeah thanks bud all right man cool, bro. Yeah. Thanks for your time. i'll see you guys after We want to take a moment to honor the memory of Miss Sally Mae Anderson and all the great work that has taken place for decades at Anderson House. I also want to honor all of you. How many veterans do we have in the audience? Raise your hands. I want to thank you for your service to this great country of ours. Give them a big hand, guys. We stand on the shoulders of the brave men and women.
So how'd we do? We did good. You did good. We raised hope and raised a lot more money than we expected. Michael will walk again. Hopefully we can help his friends too. Well, you get to choose what to do with the money. <sighs> and, uh, hard to believe where I am right now. There were times when I wanted to burn this building to the ground. But tonight was good. It was real good. I'm not going to let him control me from the grave anymore. Joey, you might not want to hear this, but you need to forgive your dad. Why? Why? He chose death over me. What kind of father does that? I'm not going to pretend to understand what you're going through. You not forgiving him you're choosing to stay hurt. Look, I'll make you a deal. You consider forgiving your dad. And I'll help you with the rest of these gifts. You've shown you can handle the Anderson House legacy. But you want freedom? Forgiveness is the ultimate freedom. Think about it. Deal? Not quite. There's one more thing I want you to do for me. Name it. Take Monday off, okay? Hang out with Alexia and Chloe. Be a dad. Deal. Come on. <clears throat> Your drink, sir. Uh, yep. Study long, study wrong. Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I can't do it. No, I, I, mm -hmm. I can't count when I'm drinking, man. Oh. You can't count when you haven't been drinking. <laughs> well, I haven't gotten any of your donations yet. Oh. oh. All right. Cough it up, guys. Carry the two. All right. There you go, Joe. Four hundo each. <sighs> wow. I really appreciate this. Hey, man, you know that any time. It's going to a good cause. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, can you hold this for a second? Yeah. I I've got it all, yes. <sighs> the facts? OK, here are the facts. He is an arrogant, self-centered idiot, and so are his friends. God, I, can't, I can't wait for this whole thing to be over. Yeah. I well, as far as I'm concerned, if Foster Colby sues us, we will take him down. Happy night. All right. You deserve it, right? <laughs> Thanks, man. Happy night, guys. Hey, take care, man. All right. All right. Mm. Here's to us. We're friends indeed. And if by chance we disagree, <laughs> forget you guys. Here's to me. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Guys, I think it's about that time, yeah? Yeah, probably. Am I going to see you guys tomorrow at Anderson House? No, can't do it. We got to catch the red eye. But you should hang with us. Yeah. I, uh, this gig's got me tied up for a little while, so. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah, no problem, man. Be good. Hey, pal. Hey, looks like you and your buddies had a real nice reunion. Yeah, they must be rich, judging from all that money they gave you. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> Not mine to give. <laughs> Flip them over. Finish pop. No! No! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm fine right here. <laughs> Have it your way. Um, you need any help getting no, in the room? I'm okay. I, I got it from here. You Thank sure? Yes, I'm fine. I'm good. Are you gonna be okay? I said I'm fine. Miss James, just put it in your report. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. I trust the evening was a success. Let me rephrase. I trust the concert was a success. How does about 350K sound? Wonderful. I take it that figure includes the donations from your friends, Joey. Yeah, right. It does. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I'll admit, my view of money was very jaded, or warped, to put it in my grandmother's terms. You know, it's funny. Money's never meant as much to me as it does right now when I intend to give it away. And, uh, Miss James, I'd like to apologize on behalf of my friends and myself for being arrogant, self-centered idiots. What are you talking about? I overheard your conversation. <laughs> that phone call had nothing to do with you. And then who were you talking about? It sure sounded like you were talking about me. No, I was talking about- She can't tell you that. It's called attorney-client privilege. <clears throat> Speaking of attorneys, I'd like to address the additional steps laid out in Miss Sally's will. I'm listening. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Joey has proven that he can work, he has friends, and he can laugh at his own mistakes. Go on. <laughs> He's exceeded every goal that we've set forth. What are you getting at? I think you've proven yourself. I think that we should bundle the rest of the steps. We can't have any legal missteps. But Miss Sally made it clear that she didn't want to overly burden anyone. Oh, we're good then. <laughs> Not quite. The one non-negotiable stipulation. The year-long residency. You've only been here four months. That leaves you plenty of time to complete the last four criteria. Learning, dreams, gratitude, and love. Is that true? You weren't talking about me last night? You know, I have no problem with being here a year. Great. Let's move on, shall we? Joey, the learning stipulation requires that you not only learn, but just as importantly, teach. I I've run into Mr. Anderson in the- uh... Joey, buddy. I run into Joey in the library, and um, he's asked my opinion on some of his selections. Uh, Oscar has read them all. I'm a reader. So, um, Mr. Anderson, Joey, that's gonna take some getting used to. 
So Joey, Jojo, <laughs> Joe Mama, <laughs> too much. So Joey told me to choose any book and tell him its setting. I chose Conrad's Under Western Eyes. Set in St. Petersburg. Yeah, and Joey then proceeded to regale me with tales of his travels through everything from um, rundown eating houses to ornate gilded palaces. And this is stuff that I'd only read about. I selected Heart of Darkness, and he recounted his time in the Congo. I love their drums. Those are congas. <laughs> Can we check learning off the list? That brings us to dreams. Right? That's convenient. Because my dream is to see a man dance with his wife. A man hold his baby daughter. See a family make their mortgage payment. This is more than we made. <clears throat> if I may, uh, Mr. Maximilian was kind enough to make a donation of his own. No, my grandma G to me was uh, my only real family. But for good and bad, the Anderson house is a part of who I am and I need to, uh, no, I want to remain a part of its future. Joey, I have a recorded message from Miss Sally that I wasn't allowed to disclose until the right time. Shall we convene to the den to view it? If you're watching this video, it means my life's work has not been in vain. <clears throat> In the coming days, Mr. Hamilton and his staff will take care of legally transferring Anderson House over to you. And I know you understand Anderson House is much more than just a bed and breakfast. It's, it's a place of hope and healing and destiny. I trust you will continue its legacy successfully. And if you want to talk to an old woman who loves you, well, I'll be waiting. And now, I must bid you all farewell. With deepest thanks, enduring love, and my very best wishes. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'd like to have some time alone. And I'd like a copy of that, please.
My dearest Joey, remember this, if nothing else. Everybody struggles. Often, often in, in ways, ways we, we can't, can't detect, detect, just as you have. No child should have to witness the violent death of a parent. Be kind to people and err on the side of forgiveness, especially when it comes to your father. Above all, be kind to yourself. I do love you so. May God bless you, my dear. Your heart, my heart. Grammy G. I love you, Grammy G. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. <sighs> but I am now. And I will make you proud. The Anderson House legacy will live on. And me. was Brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the borogoves, and the momraths outgrabe. Hast thou slain the Jabberwock then? I have. Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Who else knows about this? No one. Not Jason or Angelica? No one. And, 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 and this is separate from... She added your name to it when you turned 18. Are you sure? Quite. And there's no stipulation... There's no stipulations to this. I'm free. What are you up to, soldier? Gonna dance with my wife. Stays my room, and a third party gets first right of refusal. Father, I'm a seller. You buy? Um, well, I seldom carry singles these days, but uh, um, ah, one moment. My parking meter stash, and one dollar. Thank you. There she is. Oh. 
he uh, gets to keep his room. Oh, uh, indeed. The continuity and consistency are hallmarks of Anderson House. And this is for the Anderson House Endowment. $25 million. No one who works on this place and no veteran ever pays to stay here. As you wish. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting our heroes. No, thank you, sir. Mr. Anderson. Miss James? Everything you ever wanted. Everything you need. How do I learn to fly? Keep me back on my feet. Don't give up on me. I'm begging you, please. How many moments pass me by? How many times have I said I won't try? To live my life and love like I mean it. How many moments pass me by? <laughs> Hello? Poppy? Everything has been taken care of. That's good news. Well, sounds like Hamilton, Hamilton, and Hamilton is in good hands. Miss Hastings will show you around the office. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, now I can rest easy. I just heard sipping. I do hope that wasn't a pina colada. <laughs> yeah. All right. You take care. It was a pina colada. <laughs> Daddy, what's this? Well, what's this say right here? Personal and confidential. Good girl. Good girl. What do we got here? Next time you're buying lunch. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go have some fun, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, you we better are. be. Mm -hmm. You better be ready to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Good, Miss James. I thank you. Uh, you ready? You bet, Mr. Anderson. Uh, one thing though, I was uh, I was kind of hoping I had your permission to call you something else. What? You sick of Miss James? No, 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 no. I th I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> but I was thinking something more along the lines of Mrs. Anderson. <laughs> well, there are certain steps that should probably be taken first. Steps or gifts? Both. <laughs> Don't worry. You're pretty good at those. <laughs> All right, then. Ready? Yeah. Isn't it crazy how we never felt so alive till your world collided with mine? Trade love for a chance, and that's alright. That's alright. I never knew 
I could love someone I never knew I could feel so complete After all this said and done I love will still be holding on strong And I'd give all I have for love That's alright That's alright And I knew I wanted you the first time I saw you walk by Oh